Hey, it's John Kathleen, the creator of Passenger Shaming. What's up? It's been a minute. Okay. Can we talk? Joan Rivers. Oh my God. Okay. So, um, I just was going to give a quick, quick little rant about, um, the photo I just posted on Instagram. And this is what our channel is going to actually be. The last few videos, just as a heads up, I, I don't know what's going on with my hair today. But the last few videos that I posted were like timely things, and that's not really going to be, you know, what what I'm doing on the channel um, for YouTube. However, I did want to address a couple things, you know, when those timely, the timely shit fucking happens, whatever. But for the most part, what we're going to be doing here is... I usually probably have like a little something superimposed photo and then I'll have my little quick, you know, video, live video rant about it. And then maybe like a suggestion as to how to fucking fix it. <laughs> okay, so if you haven't seen the Instagram photo that I'm going to be speaking of, I'm going to link it um, in the description box down below. I'll link the, the, um, the photograph. Um, it's a guy, uh, laying down on his tray table, which people do all the time. However, he's not wearing a fucking shirt. I mean, we get people with pajamas, right? You know, people wearing the most ridiculous things. And one thing about passenger shaming is I never, ever once have um, shamed anybody based on their appearance, their weight, anything, whatever. Typically not even shit they wear. But if you're not wearing fucking clothes, are you fucking serious right now? What? Like what circumstance would be happening that you are on an aircraft, you know, a hundred million dollar aircraft and you're just like, you know what, fuck it. I'm just gonna take my shirt off. You know, like look, you can't even go into stores. You know like you see in the stores and it's like, um, uh, you know, no shirt, no shoes, no service. Are you fucking kidding me? Anyway, look, what's probably one of the easiest things? What's probably one of the easiest fucking things that you can do when you go fly? I don't know, wear fucking clothing when you show up to the goddamn airport? Obviously, he was wearing a shirt when he came on, right? And then he took it off. But, like, really? Come on, people. Like, do we even, like, as adults need to have this conversation that you need to keep your clothing on? And, moreover, this isn't the only photograph that is featured on Passenger Shaming, P.S., Instagram, and Facebook, um, that <laughs> that uh, is, is somebody not wearing a shirt. I don't care if you're heavy, if you look like Brad Pitt. I don't give a fuck. You have to wear clothing. And P.S., if you are on United Airlines, because I know some fucking ass hat is going to be trolling me like, oh, unless you're on United Airlines and you can't wear uh, leggings. Yes, you can wear leggings on United Airlines. If you recall, they came out with the statement that those passengers that were wearing leggings were employees or traveling on an employee pass. So um, they have a dress code they have to follow. If uh, you, I did a whole fucking video about it. Go back and watch. Fuck, I don't care. It, whatever. But there's a whole nother video about it. I don't know what's going on with my hair. Whatever. Okay, but listen. Can we all just like maybe agree to just wear clothing on aircraft? And clothing that is not... Mm, like that you would feel comfortable wearing maybe to work even? I don't know. Like don't roll up in your fucking... Winnie the Pooh pajamas and your fucking wife beater bullshit. I just showed my bra strap shit. Sorry. I'm not editing. I don't care. But look. I mean, we're adults. I'm not talking about kids. You have children and they're flying at five o'clock in the morning and they have to wear, they're wearing their little pajamas and their onesies and they're, you know, got their little Crocs on or whatever. I'm talking about adults. Okay. It's not difficult. It's probably one of the easiest fucking things that you could do on when you are traveling on an aircraft. It's respectful. It's respectful for those around you. Why don't you have a little self-respect? 
I know a lot of people don't. I get that a lot of people don't have a lot of self-respect. I'm noticing that more and more. Um, you know what I'm saying? Because you're watching. You've been seeing the videos, you know, and you've been seeing the photographs. It's kind of ridiculous. But just a little fucking self-respect would be nice. Um, but, like, look, okay, let's say you have zero self-respect. How about maybe having a little respect for the people next to you? And they're gonna, oh, and that's the other thing. Everybody's like, oh, my God, it's not bothering you. How is it bothering you? Dude, if there is a guy sitting next to me and I'm, you know, in the middle seat with the unwashed masses, we all have been there, it fucking sucks, and the guy next to me has his bare fucking skin, shirt off, fucking hair, sweat and shit, mm-mm, nope, nope. And I can guarantee you, when the flight attendant or some flight crew member saw that, they made him put on a fucking shirt. That's the other thing about passenger shaming. People are like, oh, when did it? people are just winning and they just don't even, they just take a picture and don't say anything. Trust and believe. After they take a picture, then the um, behavior is addressed. So that's how passenger shaming works. And it's kind of fun because it makes it fun for the rest of us, right? Um, anyway, hey, so in the future, for the most part, you know, and that was, if you go back a few videos, you'll see that that's what I mentioned uh, previously, that that's what, you know, the channel was going to be. Um, so we will, I say we, I don't know. Look, I don't fucking edit right now. Look, I don't, and people are like, oh, you edit, what up? If you want to see like jump cuts and like blah, 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 and like not the real fucking person, go watch another video. I don't know what to tell you. But the trolling, you guys are fucking on your game. You guys are doing good. But you have to remember that I've been an online presence for 10 years. So it's going to take a lot to really fucking upset me and piss me off. But in the meantime, can we all just agree? Let's just as a group, as a whole, as a, a race of human beings that we whilst on public transportation wear fucking clothing moreover wear appropriate fucking clothing that would be great <laughs> can you imagine it would be so cool all right well hey you guys you guys have been hilarious i i will tell you this if anybody's still watching your fucking comments on um all the comments that you leave, like on the Facebook page, we have a Instagram, or you know, the Instagram, passenger shaming Instagram, passenger shaming Facebook, Twitter, all that horseshit. But not for nothing, your fucking comments are usually funnier than the goddamn pictures because, I mean, I have to scroll through all the, you know, you're a tweaker and you're a drunk and I don't even get it. But whatever, once I can scroll through all that shit, I like to, you know, LOL, you know, likes, thumbs up, you know, whatever. Speaking of thumbs up, thumbs up this video if you want to see more. But um, I will go into more depth, you know, about ranting about some of these uh, asshats on airplanes that we've been seeing lately. And when I say lately, I mean the last 15 years. <laughs> I'm not even joking. I wish it was a joke. Hey, anyway, thanks for following. Thanks for sharing. Thanks for hitting subscribe. Thanks for liking the videos and oh, and thanks to the people who thumbs di thumbs down. I don't give a fuck. It's so funny. Okay. The last video I posted was like, say like, look, I'm not sure like 10, 11 minutes long. That thing wasn't up for 45 seconds. And like five people were like, Bloop. I'm like, you didn't even watch it. People hate me. <laughs> I'm just a bitch who fucking calls out ass hats on airplanes. That's it. I don't know why you got to come for me, but fuck off if you're going to be a dick. Oh, here's another thing. I did mention this once before, and I, this is going to be the last time. It won't be the last time I say it, but it's a secret that a lot of people aren't aware of that works like on the interwebs. If you don't like something, or you hate the person, or you hate the brand, or you hate all of it, you know what you can do? Bloop! Click out and not fucking watch it! I don't know. Novel fucking idea. <laughs> What's with the hate watching? I don't get it. I don't get it. But 
you know what, let's get some more a-holes on these goddamn airplanes that we're going to take, I'm going to just be ranting about on here. Like I said, I'm going to do like little superimposed photos here shortly. Once I figure out some of this editing software bullshit, because I'm not, you know, I'm old as fuck. I don't know. Fuck. I have to like figure all this stuff out on my own. I've been doing this all by myself for 10 fucking years. So, all right. Thank you so much. Thumbs up if you like it. Comment below if, um, you know, there's like a certain photo you want me to address or like maybe a certain behavior you want me to address. And then I can like maybe give, you know, a far, uh, you know, suggestions on how you can get around it. I don't know any of that stuff. P.S. Former flight attendant. I'm not a flight attendant, so don't come at me, come at me like, oh, you hate your job so much. Whoa, you fucking suck. I don't do it anymore. <laughs> you guys are awesome. Bye.